Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we talk about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are remote dev tools for Flutter block visualizing changes during runtime, a custom tab view synchronizing with a scroll view, and a render API on custom painter for creating very impressive animations. Welcome to Syntec Ops, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the package releases of week 46. In Flutter we have input fields for any kind of data and every week new interfaces are added. For example, two weeks ago I introduced you to the package Flex Color Picker. Another new package is added, which gives us an interface for pin codes. With custom pin entry field, you get a fully customizable pin entry field that supports all platforms. If you are familiar with Laravel Eloquent, the next package might be interesting for you. With the package Loquacious, you get an object relationship mapping tool, which is built on top of the SQFlight package. For file generation and scaffolding, it is highly recommended to use the package Craftsman. With the package comes a class named LQB, which helps you to create SQL statements with built-in functions instead of SQL. And here we can see a simple example on how to create a user with a username and password, how to edit a user and how to fetch all users from the database. If you need a splash screen and you prefer it to be quick and easy, take a look at the package My Splash Screen, which provides a widget of the same name that you only have to adjust using the respective attributes. And here is a widget that automatically changes your texts. With Auto Text Changer, you get a widget also with the same name. It holds a list of strings and, as far as I can tell, it switches between the texts and the type of transition can be set using the class attributes. The next package offers so-called DNIE tools. This sounds like something technical, but it could also have something to do with personal data and be related to Spain. I really have no idea. If you know what DNIE stands for, then I would appreciate a short explanation and those who know what it means can enjoy the package DNIE tools. Looking for a package that will make you work with API responses easier? Maybe the package JSON Handler can help you. For fans of the state management solution Block, this package could be very interesting. Flutter Block DevTools, as the name implies, offers DevTools. The package connects all blocks to a remote DevTools server, which shows and even visualizes changes during runtime. Here we have the number 3 with 9 likes and this is Forge2D, a two-dimensional physics engine that works for Web and Flutter. This package is from the publisher of the minimalist Flutter game engine Flame, which was introduced at Flutter Europe 7 months ago. With a white lead and a total of 27 likes, scrollable list tab view becomes the second most liked package. With this package you can create a tab view which synchronizes with a scroll view. As you can see from the image when scrolling down, the active tab is highlighted. This could be very useful for creating one-page websites when scrolling down the active section is highlighted in the navigation and if you click on a menu item you scroll automatically to the correct position. At least that's how I imagine it. Very interesting, try it out. And here the king of week 46 with 35 likes, the package Graphex. Rendering, prototyping and design with a flasher-like render API on custom painter. The animations that can be created with this package are amazing and the possibilities seem to be limitless. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So let us have a look at the example animations in the documentation and man, there are a lot. 